I think the reason it's very important to discuss human trafficking and globalization is that here we are in the 21st century. The Emancipation Proclamation by Abraham Lincoln was 150 years ago. And in England, William Wilberforce was the um, big anti-slavery um, opponent, and he died in 1833. And here we are now facing um, individuals, people, being bought and sold for labor and for sex. And globalization has actually facilitated this in a number of ways. Awareness of human trafficking has grown, but it's largely grown through very dramatic stories of individual victims, usually of sex trafficking. And that has ignored the fact that there are a lot of systemic factors in the world, a lot of them a function of globalization, which facilitate this. We have increased international travel, and now we have sex tourism. We have um, internet increased, and now we have child pornography on the internet, and the use of the internet to, um, to set up a lot of uh, things which are related to either uh, commercial sex or labor trafficking. We also have a greater demand for children. So these are some of the things, as well as poverty and economic downturns, which are um, increasing or facilitating human trafficking today. Trafficking is a business. It's profitable. It's within the top three, guns, weapons, and human trafficking. And we need to take all of these into account and have a, a, a real collaborative, collective approach to this. A awareness building is necessary, but it's not enough. I think that it's very important that um, our approaches be multidisciplinary, and I know that the Albright Fellows come from a number of different majors and countries while there are students here, and so I think that the fact that they are all together in these sessions of the Albright Institute coming from their different um, perspectives, their different disciplines, is really important because every single one of them can have some relationship to human trafficking, and we need to work together.